Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I got a couple requests to show you how you, how to mirror my iPod devices to my PC or laptop, and I'm going to show you guys today how to do that. A couple programs I use, I'll go through each one, where to get them, and uh, one other extra program I use, which is pretty cool, and I'll show you the basics on the two that I use mainly. So let's get started. First program is uh, called Fraps. This is going to be installed on your computer. All these will. This is going to record all everything that's on your screen. Certain apps or video games, you can use this for anything. You can record your desktop, all this stuff. I can't remember what the limitations are to the free version on this. I think it's, actually I do know, it's a certain time limit. There is a free version out there. I got it. I ain't going to say where, but if you hit me up, I'll tell you where I got it privately. But they are out there. Alright, so my next program I have is AirServer. You can go to AirServerApp.com. This is the one that I use personally. I find really good. This is the mirroring program, which takes your devices and displays them on your PC or laptop. As you see, there's a couple free options there. You get the 7-day trial if you want to use a couple of different licenses. Once again, I got a free version. It's fully loaded. You can get it too. You hit me up, I'll tell you where. And this is an app for you guys that don't really want to, you know, do the wrong thing and get the wrong program, but this is a good app. This is a Reflector app. You can go to reflectorapp.com, get it, and uh, it does the same thing as Air Server, just not as good. The uh, This is a good one. If you're just doing Clash of Clan videos, I, I'd recommend this. The uh, free limitations to it, it's only 10 minutes. You can only mirror up to 10 minutes, which ain't bad. I don't see why anyone would want to mirror fucking any longer than 10 minutes, but uh, here it is. So, and the other app, that I use. This is for you guys who like to make title intros, you know, clan logos, add pictures onto a video. It's a Adobe After Effects CS6. This is a thousand dollar program. Hit me up offline. I'll show you where to get it for free. All right. So let's start with Fraps. So I'll bring up Fraps. This is pretty much what it looks like. Your user interface, your general settings. Don't mind this. It was free, so I'll go to this. If frames per second, don't do, don't alter this if you're not smart in computers. It's you're pretty stupid if you mess with this and you don't know shit about computers. So this pretty much, don't worry about this. Movies, you can change your directory. This is where your movies will be saved. You know, I always use full screen. Don't mess with none of these values. You don't need to do it unless you, you want to split your files into four gigabytes piece. This is your sound. You can turn it on if you want. It's going to record pretty much whatever sound your computer makes. I leave it off. They don't bother me. And then screenshots. If you want to take screenshots, you got your output folder, a couple different files. So, too easy. Alright, so I will start up my Air Server app and let's get started. I'm not going to show you how to use Air Reflector because I don't want to download it, but it is ran pretty much the same exact way as Air Server. So, if you figure out how to use Air Server, the Flupker app is even easier to use. It's going to take a minute probably to load up, but once it does, I will show you. And you'll get this. Air server is running, which is a good thing. You have that have Wi-Fi to use this also, just to let you know. And uh, I'll open up Air server, show you a couple of the settings. All right. Pretty much computer name. Keep these two checked. You're on a Wi-Fi network. That's what you need. This is all done wirelessly. You do not need cables or anything for this. Audio, if you want your audio from your device displayed or recorded, you got it. Display, don't mess with this if you don't know what you're doing. Mirroring, pretty much. You know, a couple iP iPhone, iPad, projectors. I keep mine at 720. Post-processing, fuck around with the color if you want. I don't know why you'd want to. And updates. So, we'll hit OK. To close that out. Just to make sure your little icon is still running. And what we're going to do is I'll show you once I link up to my PC. Alright, so the screen pops up. Pretty much, this is what it looks like. This is mirroring my iPad, iPod right now. I'm not going to use my iPad because it's charging. But you have this. So I'm going to show you how to get to this and how to do it. So we'll go home. There we go. It's my screen. To get to this menu, you're going to tap the home button twice. It's going to bring up your little task on the bottom. And you'll just scroll all the way to the left to see this icon. When Air Server is running on a Wi Fi network, this will appear. You'll hit it. It'll pop up this. And then you will. Originally, it'll be checked on your iPod or iPad. So you'll click your computer, and then it'll give you the mirroring, and you will turn mirroring on. And then hit done, 
and the screen should pop up with your uh, program. So if we go into an app, as you can see, I'll move it up a little bit, it will load, Clash of Clans, and I just updated so I just had to restart. So. And you can see it's pretty decent quality. For free programs, I like it. So, And this will record anything on your iPod. So any games, movies, pictures, you can all do whatever you want with it. And uh, still loading. Just do that big. And there you go. Move around, do what you want, chat. And there's the basics for that. All right. So now you know how to bring it up, how to load it, and I will show you how to record. So pretty much, you will bring up your fraps. And before, once you have this program running and you find what you want to record, say you want to record an attack and you found it. And uh, what I usually do is I'll bring up, I'll start up fraps, then I'll start up air server, I'll connect. And for movies, I have it set up on movies. And when I want to do an attack video, you know, usually right before I'm about to attack, I'll hit F9, which is record on fraps. This will start recording it. I'm already using it right now, so I'm not going to hit it. And then you can go through your attack. You'll have a frames per rate displayed up here. In the program and uh, just avoid that it won't be displayed when you make your video and so go through your attack you know you're done write a little message and then hit F9 again to stop and this will save the video and uh, it's pretty much it wherever you designate your output folder this will be your video and uh, so oh, screen server turn on and pretty much to disconnect yourself from air server I'll close out show you guys how to do it And you just scroll all the way to the left. This is the same setup for iPad too, so it's really easy to find. Turn off mirroring, click back to your iPod touch, and then close out Air Server. Sometimes Air Server don't close all the way for me really well, so what I have to do sometimes is uh, hit Control to hit Delete, go into my Task Manager, and I'll have to end it. I don't know, maybe it's just my computer. I've got a couple thousand viruses on here, but that's it. So pretty much that's it. And then once you you know save it, you can put your own track on, use Windows Movie Maker and all that stuff. And then if you want to get more advanced, like I said, you can use Adobe After Effects to make some cool graphics, insert some pictures, make yourself a title. It's just really advanced. Uh, there's a bunch of YouTube videos online how to use it. And that is really it. If you guys have any questions or you don't feel I was in-depth enough, let me know. I'll post comments on my channel. And then uh, that's about it. And I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys find the apps that you need. If not, hit me up. I'll try to assist you even more. And uh, that's it.